Tonight, a dangerous springtime blizzard about to pound the Midwest with blinding snow and wind. Heavy snow already coming down, whiteout conditions in the plains, cars skidding off roads in Iowa, wind set to hit 60 miles per hour. On the East Coast, roads underwater, hundreds of thousands without power, and the desperate search for a young girl swept away in a creek. The half a billion dollar deadline for former President Trump just hours away now. How the New York Attorney General could freeze his bank accounts and seize his iconic buildings if he doesn't pay. Dramatic video of a carnival cruise ship on fire. What the passengers told us. Immediately when we stepped down our balcony, the first thing you saw was just black smoke. Plus the two staffers killed while aboard a Holland America voyage. An attempted kidnapping caught on camera, and the mother who fought the assailant down four flights of stairs. It's my baby. Can't take her. Home sales surging. The real estate market makes a surprise comeback. Why are buyers pulling the trigger now? The scientists who say they're going to bring the woolly mammoth back from extinction within years. But should they? And the new message from Princess Kate, how she's reacting to the massive show of support. This is NBC Nightly News. Good evening, I'm Laura Jarrett. If you had hoped that winter would just gently roll into spring, we've got some bad news for you tonight. Winter is nowhere close to being done with a huge chunk of the country. This is the scene in the Midwest today. Snow coming down at rates of two inches per hour. The strong winds creating whiteout conditions. In the Northeast, they're digging out. Parts of Vermont and Maine saw nearly three feet of snow, while the rest of the Northeast saw torrential rain that led to flooding and water rescues like this. All of this just the lead up with full on blizzard conditions set to barrel across the plains in the Midwest starting tonight. We are covering it all beginning with Jesse Kirsch in Minneapolis. Still ahead tonight, heart pounding video of an attempted kidnapping. How quick thinking by that girl's mother may have saved her life. Plus, it's been lost to the ice age for centuries. Now scientists want to revive the long lost woolly mammoth. But is that really a good idea? We are back now with heart stopping video of an attempted kidnapping here in New York City. A young girl grabbed right outside her apartment door, her mother jumping into action to save her. George Solis spoke to that mother about the fight for her daughter's life. We're glad she's okay. We are back in a moment with a controversial new plan to bring the extinct woolly mammoth back to life. It didn't turn out so well in Jurassic Park. So should researchers do it now? Prince William and Princess Kate are speaking out following Kate's announcement that she's being treated for cancer in a Dallas. And when we come back, there is good news tonight. The surprise performance that brought this beloved teacher to tears. There is good news tonight about the impact one teacher can have on his students and the lengths one group of alumni went to pay it forward, even decades later. And Mr. Clack says he plans to work on writing and producing plays in his retirement. We wish him all the best. That's NBC Nightly News for this Sunday. Lester Holt will be in for tomorrow. I'm Laura Jarrett. For all of us here at NBC News, good night. News for the generation of now is NBC News Now.